let's start with the basics. What makes up a string? So there are four main anatomical parts of a string. They're very, very basic. Three of them we can see with the naked eye, and one of them we can't. Can anyone name what they are? Can anyone take a guess? You take a look at this string, what do you see? Because it bounces around in front of you. Anything? Anyone want to venture a guess? All right, everybody's shy still. It's all right, it's all right. Keep rolling with me, we'll get there. So the first thing we've got is what we call the core. And the core, as it sounds like, is the material that runs in the center of the string. It runs from one end of the string to the other, and it runs always lengthwise, all right? The core, uh, it can be a multitude of different materials, and we'll talk about those materials in a minute. The next part is the winding, and that is the part that goes along the outside of the core. And this is wound um, perpendicular or almost perpendicular to the core, okay? Then we have the silking. The silking are the colored ends on the string. These are usually some sort of a synthetic fabric, some you know, sort of nylon thread. And uh, it's used primarily as an identifier for the string. So we can tell what brand it is, what note it is, maybe what tension it is. And the last part is the ball end or the loop end. So this little tiny round guy here is called the ball end. Um, most of our orchestral strings will have ball ends with the exception of violin E strings, which often have a loop end option as well. The loop end is simply the core material that is made into a loop at the end of the string and does not have a ball going through it. Now the ball end, if you, uh, next time you take a look at your strings, if you look very, very closely at the ball end, you'll notice that it is the anchor for our core material. So the core material is wrapped around it or it's wound right through it. 